So today I have a new AI image generator for you guys named design.ai which offers you some of the most important features like face swapping or changing clothes with AI and with this tool not only you can do text to image generation but you can also do image to image generation and change your images into cartoon characters, AI avatars and much more and the best thing about this tool is that now you can use the new stable diffusion tree inside of this tool as well. It's is this amazing you guys so yeah this is usman from skill curve and without further any chit chat let's jump right into the video all right guys so here i am in the home page of design.ai so formerly it was named as styler ai we did a review on that and you know a lot of people uh, like this tool a lot it is basically a image creation hub for you guys where you can go ahead and do lots of stuff with your images so you guys can see right over here we have lots of ai photo filters over here then you can combine images with ai then you can go ahead and do generative fill and modify and you guys can see the main features so you can turn sketch into art you can do ai art generator you can go ahead and use image to prom style library and we have tons of features right over here okay so yeah in this video specifically we're gonna go ahead and test out text to image and image to image generation so first of all we're gonna go ahead and log in with our google account all right, so after you're all logged in, so this will be kind of an interface of design.ai where you say start from an image so you can go ahead and do image to image generation directly. And we also have some of the AI tools like text to image, image to image, local edit, remove object, expand, enhance, and face swap as well. So we're gonna be testing out that in this video too. Then we have some of the popular tools that design.ai offers. So you can go ahead and turn your images from 2D to 3D. You can go ahead and do logo effect, sketch rendering. You can create your game icons as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Then we have some of the portrait filters, QT 3D, Hyperbolic, Joyful Clay, Delicate Quarrel, and lots of other ones. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and test out some of the features uh, in this video. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and test out text to image generation in Design AI. So yeah, this will be kind of an interface where you get a canvas, so you can click or drag here to upload images. But we are doing text to image, so we're going to go ahead and create images with our prompts. And right on the top, you get the options to choose your style. So over here, we get tons of style options where you can see we have now the stable diffusion three option over here as well. Like with the help of this Design AI tool, you can go ahead and use the new stable diffusion tree model. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and test out that. Over here, you can go ahead and input your prompts. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same stable diffusion tree prompts that we used in our previous videos. So first of all, I'm going to type over here like portrait of an elderly gardener with a serene smile surrounded by blooming flowers, golden hour glow, DSLR ultra quality, and we have all the terminologies that we had to use in stable diffusion tree right and then if you click on the advanced options now you can go ahead and input your negative prompt as well so we're going to go ahead and use our same negative prompt uh, that we use in stable diffusion tree all right so i've inputted my negative prompt as well and then after that let's just go ahead and generate this image so it will take around 30 credits and in our free version we get 200 credits that is actually i think quite enough to test out this amazing ai tool right so first of all, I'm going to go ahead and generate our first creation with design.ai. All right, here we go. And just like that, our images are done within a few seconds just. So here is our first image. Like, take a look at the detail into that, right? So we have portrait of an elderly gardener with serene smile. And take a look at the lighting into that. Like, we can totally see, like, this is the exact image we get out of Stable Diffusion 3. Like, we have all that vibe, all that color, lighting and the image turned out really good. And if you take a look at the second generation, so you have, wow, this one is really good, right? Like the clarity in the face, uh, the lighting in the background, the flowers, like the bouquet effect, everything turned out really good. Like the Stable Division 3 model is really, really good. If you don't want to go ahead and download uh, the heavy models, you don't have the expensive GPU, so you can use Stable Division 3 now in design.ai which is really really incredible all right so now let's just go ahead and test out another prompt of stable diffusion 3 so i'm going to type in my prompt like portrait of a young artisan focused on crafting poetry soft natural lighting from a nearby window dslr ultra quality all right this will be interesting now let's just go ahead and generate this and see our output okay 
All right, so take a look at this image. Wow, guys, this is really, really good. So now we have a portrait of a young artisan focus on crafting poetry. And take a look at the detail into that, right? Like the color formation, the bouquet effect, everything is exactly like we did in Stable Diffusion 3. And if you take a look at the second image, so yeah, this one turned out really, really good as well, right? So we have a uh, young artist in focus on crafting poetry, soft natural light from a nearby window, you guys can see. And the lighting on the hairs turned out really, really good. We have the exact image and yeah, the stable diffusion three model no doubt works really, really good in design.ai. All right, so now let's just go ahead and test a few of the more styles in text to image generation. So you guys can see we have realistic, colorful fill, 3D rendering, sticker pop. Like we have tons of other styles right over here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and test out some of my favorites and show you how beautiful design.ai can make your images all right so first of all i'm gonna go ahead and do this cute exaggeration filter which is really really good it creates some of the amazing cute exaggeration 3d images for you so yeah, i'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt that a young child with enormous sparkling eyes a wide grin showing tiny teeth wearing a colorful polka dot outfit so this is a cute exaggerated prompt, right? So you can go ahead and choose style intensity into that as well. And according to my testing, uh, the medium one works really, really fine. And we're gonna keep our negative prompt as it is. Now let's just go ahead and generate this and see our result, okay? All right, guys, here we go. Like take a look at these 3D images. Wow, these turn out really, really good, right? So now uh, you guys can see we have a young child with enormous sparkling eyes, a wide grin showing tiny teeth. And yeah, the second image, like the 3D image turned out really, really good. This one is absolutely fantastic. So is the last one. So if you want to go ahead and create your cartoon characters, 3D cute, cute, exaggerated uh, pictures. So Design AI is the best in class in this purpose, okay? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and test out this narrative film style, which basically creates kind of anime characters for you. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And right in my prom that a high school girl with long flowy hair, blushing and looking away, wearing a traditional school uniform with a skirt and a sailor collar. All right, let's just go ahead and create that. I'm going to keep my style intensity as 0.5 medium. Let's generate the images, okay? All right, you guys. So our images are created within a few seconds. So now we have a high school girl with long flowy hair, blushing and looking away. So you guys can see, oh, we got a perfect anime picture out of that so this is the second one this is the third one then the fourth one yet yeah. so the images turn out really really good you guys right all right so this was the amazing text to image generation of design.ai so now let's just go ahead and test out image to image generation in design.ai so yeah you guys can see seeing uh, you can transform an image into various styles okay so let's just go ahead and test this feature out. So first of all, for image to image generation, you have to upload your image on this canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and upload image of myself. So this is the one you guys, then you can go ahead and first of all, use some of the additional features that you can get in design.ai. Like you can remove any object from the image. So let's just say if I click on remove object and I want to remove this chair. Uh, from my image. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and circle all of that. All right, here we go So it's done and after that I'm gonna click on remove All right, and just like that it is gonna remove this particular chair from my image like these are the four creations All right here the first one. Here is the second one. Here's the third one All right, I think the fourth one looks really really good like this was our image before and now with just one click It has removed that chair for us. All right, you guys Okay, the next thing you can do is you can remove background from your images with just one click. Like, take a look at this, right? This looks absolutely perfect, okay? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and test out some of the styles uh, in design.ai in image to image generation. So this was my normal image and I want to go ahead and change this image into any other style, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the best one, which are my absolute favorites. So first of all, I'm gonna do this cute exaggeration. All right, I'm going to choose my style intensity as medium, which is 0.6. Then we have the option of structure match. So you can go ahead and do it 0.6 as well. Then we have the option of color match. So you don't have to turn this on. Face match, we're going to go ahead and do this on because I want my uh, similar face in my resulted image. Okay, then we have the option of advanced. So you can put in your negative prompt. I'm not going to do that. Let's just go ahead and generate this and see how it's going to turn my image into a cute exaggerated one, okay? All right, so here you go, guys. So this was my uh, initial image and it turned that into these cartoon characters. Like, 
take a look at this, right? This looks absolutely perfect. This is the first one. And yeah, we have this result for the first one. Then we have the second one, third one, and the fourth. Wow, this is absolutely crazy, right? So yeah, this is how you can go ahead and turn your images into cartoon characters as well with design.ai. Now let's just go ahead and test out another style, which is uh, one of my favorite as well. So I'm gonna do this uh, Cutie 3D, which is a very amazing, another uh, cartoon character one. So for that, I'm gonna choose my uh, structure match as 0.5 turn off my face match and let's generate this and see how it's gonna turn out okay all right wow so take a look at these images you guys right so we have a perfect cartoon character for my results all right this one looks really really good then the fourth one wow this is crazy right see so this was my initial image and it basically turned that into different cartoon characters like take a look at this right this is absolutely perfect right you guys all right, so now let's just go ahead and test out some of the additional features in image to image generation. Like you can go ahead and create your avatars as well with design.ai. Like that you can choose between 3D avatars, vivacious figurine, uh, lively stickerism, 8-bit pixel, cute exaggeration, and plop vibrance, yeah? In that, I think I'm very much liking this lively stickerism. I'm gonna click on that. Then it's asking me to upload my image. I'm gonna go ahead and upload uh, image of myself. All right, this one looks good. Then you can go ahead and choose uh, style intensity into that. I'm gonna go ahead and do it as medium. Structure match is good. Now let's just go ahead and generate this and see how it's gonna create my image into an avatar, okay? All right, guys, take a look at this. This is absolutely crazy. So first of all, it has changed this into this avatar, okay? This one looks good. So yeah, it kind of looks uh, very similar to my image. Then we have the second one. Okay, this looks really, really good as well. Then we have the third one and the fourth one. Wow, these images are absolutely crazy. So if you want to go ahead and change your image into some avatar, you want to go ahead and you don't know, just publish it on your gaming channel or something. So yeah, design.ai has got you covered for that purpose as well, okay? All right, guys, so now let's just go ahead and test out this change clothes feature in design.ai. So now you can go ahead and change your dresses into these kind of things that you can change your dress into street hoodie, business suit or leather jacket so let's just say i want to change my image into some leather jacket one so first of all i'm gonna upload my this image right over here then after that we simply have to brush the clothes in our image all right so it's done and in the prompt we're gonna go ahead and simply type leather jacket you can input anything over here if you want you can like input a red sweater a blue shirt or anything you want so after that I'm going to go ahead and click on generate and now let's just see how it's going to transform my this suit into a leather jacketed image, okay? All right, here we go guys. Like this was our initial image and with just inputting leather jacket in our prompt, it has created these images for us, right? Yeah, this looks really, really good. So first of all, we have the black jacket, then we have the black biker jacket, then we have this gray one and this one. Wow, these images turn out really, really good, right? Especially, I really like the first one. So let's just say if I go ahead and input something else like gym wear. Okay, click on generate. So let's see how it's going to turn this out for me now. So yeah, take a look at this, right? Wow, these are looking absolutely perfect. All right, this one is a bit too exaggerated, but yeah, I'm very much liking the first one. Okay, second one looks good as well as the third one, right, you guys? So yeah, this is how you can go ahead and change clothes uh, with Design AI very, very easily, okay? All right, so next, we're going to go ahead and test out this face swap feature with Design.ai. So yeah, I saying you can replace a face in an image with another face, okay? So yeah, let's just go ahead and test this out. So first of all, it's saying uh, upload a face photo and swap with the one on the canvas. All right, so we're going to go ahead and upload image on the canvas that we want to change the face of, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and upload my image right over here. All right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap my face with some celebrity image, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and upload image of a celebrity. Okay, so I'm doing a Leonardo DiCaprio for this one, okay? Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate. Then just like that, it's gonna go ahead and swap my face to Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, take a look at this one. All right, this looks good. Uh, okay, the third one looks really, really good as well. Okay, I'm not sure about the fourth one. Uh, the first one is okay, uh, second one and the third one uh, like turned out really really good, right you guys? So there you go guys, this was the exploration of the new enhanced design.ai. So we talked about lots of features of design AI. So this is basically the image hub for you. So if you want to go ahead and edit your image, you want to 
create images with textual prompts by using stable diffusion models or any other amazing uh, cartoonish or animated models. You can do that. Uh, you can go ahead and turn your images to any other style. You can go ahead and do lots of other stuff as well. So I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.